Greetings, America. Welcome to 1984. Hey, folks, I hear there's a new feely going to be out tonight. Some kind of wicked new technology or something. I don't know. Fly a Google limp or something? I don't know. But go check it out, man. I'll be there. I think I'll do about, you know, 28 grams of uh, someone and fucking trip. Okay, anyway. You know, <clears throat> this thing all started from an interview that I had with uh, Mr. Robert Dew from InfoWords. Very nice fellow. Really cool dude. Love his enthusiasm. Uh, great guy. He, <clears throat> he went out of his way to... Uh, uh, help an old man relax because he was feeling a little overwhelmed by all of this and uh, wasn't quite sure what to do and just needed to talk. Excuse me. And <clears throat> he took care of me, man. He chatted with me. So, uh, hey, man, it these aces in my book. Same with Alex. Same with Alex. Absolutely. But anyway, I want to talk about that interview. So, in that interview, I sat there with Rob and I said, Hey man, or he asked me the question, uh, something about how easy is it for them to do this? And I said, as easy as sitting there at a keyboard, if you have this access and have access to the appropriate database, you can do this. Okay? That was a full day <clears throat> before Snowden broke. I didn't even know Snowden broke till sometime the following week. I do not have TV or anything like that. Uh, I'm here all the time, so if I want to remain isolated, I do. The way I get my news is via the internet, but I go out and seek it. If I don't go out and seek it, <clears throat> I can live a totally uh, life in a box and I don't know shit lifestyle. Uh, I live on six acres in the middle of nowhere at the end of the road, at the end of, uh, you know, what is ostensibly my road because I own the part that is the end of the road. <clears throat> anyway. So going forward, uh, I was chatting with someone today, and uh, she was telling me that uh, Edward Snowden is down on the run. They have uh, issued charges uh, on him, and yada, 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 national security. But you know, if you think about it, the only way that they can issue charges is if he endangered the lives of somebody. Okay, and that even still gets a little dicey because lest you forget people what they were doing they shouldn't have been doing in the first place. Now I know they're trying to say it's legal but it, it isn't. It isn't. This is the whole point. It's a fucking smokescreen. It is a smokescreen. This is a psyop. They're trying to get you to forget about the fact that this is illegal to begin with. <clears throat> okay, so let's go back to Snowden for a minute. What did he do wrong? Well, he didn't do anything wrong because he exposed some seriously unconstitutional behavior on the part of the security agencies that are supposedly there to protect us. Uh, we do fund them, they're there for us. Uh, this national security stuff is supposed to be for us. Um, you know, all these secret documents are supposed to be to keep us safe. Um, is anybody starting to see a, a trend here? You know, this is a problem. They're not keeping us safe. The only way we can stay safe, America, is to keep ourselves safe. Keep ourselves safe. Friends, people we meet. Man, I've met so many cool people since I did this. People I feel I can, uh, you know... Oh, hey, man. Thanks, dude. Got your back. I mean, that feels good. And I know these people are serious, and that's cool. That is really, really cool. And I hope Snowden's got some people looking out for his sex. <clears throat> because that man did a good thing. See, because I didn't come with any documentation. I only came with this. And what I did with these hands combined with this. Yeah, but anyway, so, but I said the same thing. But I didn't do anything wrong. I violated no laws. I endangered no lives. I told no lies. Um, 
you know, I just didn't produce any documents. But I'd really like to understand just exactly, I mean, line item, <clears throat> what documents that he released cause somebody to be in danger. And we again, we cannot forget that what they're doing is unconstitutional and illegal. Highly, highly illegal. Treasonous, actually. Absolutely treasonous. So, <clears throat> I think we all need to step back, focus a second, think about this, and go, hey man, what if Edward Snowden was my kid? What would I expect? Wouldn't you expect him to do what he did? You damn well ought to. And if you don't, you don't understand the oath. And speaking of that, how about all the sons and daughters that are over there in Afghanistan uh, overseeing <clears throat> the opium trade? You do realize that uh, the Taliban had effectively ceased production of opium in Afghanistan after the Soviets left. Ceased. Uh, opium production just, I mean, there was still some, but it was almost none. Now, 80-90% uh, of the opium in the world is being generated by where? Afghanistan. Guess who's popping all those pills? Good old United States of America. Yep. Uh, upwards of 90% of American citizens go to their doctor for pain. They are most often prescribed uh, Vicodin or some similar compound, which is formulated with acetaminophen. Acetaminophen is poison. Uh, if you want to go look, the reason that acetaminophen is in uh, <clears throat> those formulations, it's so you get sick before you die. Uh, because they were having some very bad problems with alcohol poisoning when they first released pure hydrocodone. That's why you have not seen a time release hydrocodone on the market yet. It keeps going up for approval, but it keeps getting uh, denied for exactly that reason, if you research the history. But what people need to understand is that all these pills are heroin. They're on the streets, they're everywhere. They are no different. They're jacking people up. The doctors don't know what they're doing. It's bad. Uh, I can tell you all about it from personal experience. I have found uh, homeopathy and uh, ethnobotany to be uh, a very grand solution. I know a great deal about it. If anybody wants to know about that stuff, uh, certainly feel free to contact me at darkcomo.com. D-A-R-K-C-O-M-O dot com. Um, so... I kind of wanted to make a few points there. This thing's going eight minutes. So I'm going to wrap it up. Uh, you know, we're just going to leave it as is, as I usually do. Uh, peace. Keep thinking, America. Love you. Stay frosty. God bless America. Later.